So we hit pause on our work commitments and headed into Alice to watch the famous Fink Desert Race. We got set up then headed straight into town to enjoy the street party. There was plenty to see, markets, cars and a motocross show. On the Friday night, we headed to the racetrack to view all the contenders at the scrutineering. You can see by all this traffic, it was a popular evening. We walked around, checking out all the cars, buggies and bikes before browsing the stalls. It was very cool to see each vehicle up close. You can tell that this is an expensive sport to be involved in. There was 150 registered buggies and 450 registered bikes. On Saturday, it was prologue day. All the race entrants had to do a time lap to see where they could start in the race. Sunday was day one of the two day race. Both cars and bikes raced from Alice Springs to the Fink Township, with prologue determining start positions. It's all up to the drivers and hoping their vehicles stand up on the brutal track. After the TGM sweep car cleared the track, it was green light for the bikes to start their race. ventured up the track a little to see the spectator warning riders of the serious bog hole ahead. We had heard there was a more serious hole just up from this one, which had claimed eight riders. Bugger. That night we had a cracking campfire, camped close to the track with some fellow travellers. 
cold beer, campfire chats and good times. Alright Monday, day two and the final race day of the event. Drivers and riders had overnight to mend their vehicles and bikes, ready for the big stretch from Fink back to Wallace. weekend. Congratulations to all the legends who finished and well done to the non-finishers for having a crack. Just to let you know how brutal this race is, with 150 registered cars and buggies, only 78 actually finished. And with the 450 registered bike riders, only 356 finished. We loved every minute of this iconic event and super happy we had made the time to attend. Well, join us next time as we finish up our station works and track north for the warmer weather. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. Cheers, legends.